Hello Geminis, this is your reading for the 3rd through the 4th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. What messages do we have for Gemini in love for the 3rd through the 4th? This is for Gemini in love. Please show me messages for Gemini. Ace of Pentacles. There's an offer on the table. Okay. I feel that there's definitely something you guys have started that you feel like will be um, fruitful by way of your finances. Okay. Something that is grounded in nature. For sure. Let's see what else we've got for you guys. Seven of Pentacles. Planting a seed. Planting a seed. Putting pouring your, your blood, sweat, and tears into something. And um Yes, to try to establish something. There's something that you guys are working on currently. Um, either you're wanting to build something for yourself or you're wanting to rebuild something, wanting to invest more time, more energy into a situation here, okay? Then you have the Ace of Swords. Hmm. What I'm getting is that you guys have been sitting on something for a while, um, an idea, a plan, and uh, now you have clarity around how to enact this plan and get what it is that you want, okay? Let's see, you have a clear uh, path, purpose right now. I feel like you're, you're being guided. Um, you're being guided, okay? Let's see what else we've got for you. And then, then we have a King of Wands. <clears throat> There's somebody here that is the target of what you guys are investing in or wanting to invest in. Um, there's clarity in regards to this individual. I am definitely seeing that um, you guys are very eager to uh, talk to someone, okay? Open up to someone, approach someone here. Uh, fire sign, energy, Aries, Leo, uh, Sagittarius. I'm feeling strong, Aries, Leo, energy here, okay? There's some truth that I feel like you guys definitely want to say to this person. This is somebody that you have invested um, a lot of time with, okay? And I feel like, you know, before, you know, this was a very stable situation for you, okay? Very stable. Please show me more about this Ace of Pentacles, okay? No, that's, that's not what we're going to do today, guys, all right? Let me grab these cards back up, and uh, we're going to shuffle some more. I realize that you do have a lot to say. I'm definitely getting that. Okay. Let's see. Please show me more about this Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords. There you are. There you are. You guys are wanting to express something to someone. Um, some of you may even want to give a physical gift, maybe like a letter, maybe um, maybe like some, some sort of gift, flowers, um, dog, it's something that you guys are wanting to express to an individual here. It could be a same-sex relationship, doesn't have to be. Um, I definitely feel that both of you guys are set standing in your masculine energy. This person that you are directing this energy towards is very, very confident in themselves, okay? Um, I guess I get that they're open and I get this person likes to be out um, in nature, okay? I get that this person is is not stubborn, but um, they want what they want. They know what they want, and um, very confident. Okay, please show me more about the Seven of Pentacles here. We have the Seven of Swords. Seven of 
seven of swords is both these sevens are a very um, spiritual number actually and it's all about you know what's best for you okay and I feel like there's a challenge here for you guys to um, do what's best for you but also take the other person into consideration in this um, reading here okay there there's something I feel like you guys have learned about this situation that involves this other individual that um, and I feel like you've consulted with with someone or even with you know whatever higher power you guys believe in and you know the truth surrounding this situation what you need to do and I feel you guys moving towards that okay I feel like you were troubled for a while and um, you didn't have the clarity that you do now okay please show me more about the ace of swords please show me more about the ace of swords the four of wands mm -hmm. I, I definitely get that this is a marriage this is um, joining together okay and I'm feeling that maybe you guys have realized that um, you actually do want to join with someone. Maybe this offer here is an engagement ring, a proposal here, okay? Wanting to put in more time and effort with the Seven of Pentacles so, you know, this connection can grow because I'm definitely seeing that um, you feel like what's best for you, what's best for both of you in this situation here is for you guys to be together. Be happy together. Have a stable home environment, a stable connection here. Okay. You guys have had your differences though, I see that. Very different. fire and air is baby a combustible mix okay so when you guys are happy it's like you know everything is fire everything's on point but you know when you have conflict with this kind of energy with the air and the fire it can be it can be hell you know okay so let's see <clears throat> please show me more about the king of wands here please show me more about the king of wands the Ten of Swords. This is somebody you feel like betrayed you. This is somebody you feel like betrayed you. But I'm getting that, you know, this person also felt like you guys did something to them. That you guys played mind games with them. Okay. But I'm getting that you've had time to really think about this, to really kind of evaluate the whole situation here. And um, you realize that you guys have invested a lot of time in this situation. And I'm getting that you don't want to lose this individual. As I pick up this deck, I see the Eight of Cups under there. Um, definitely somebody walked away from this situation because they just didn't were not happy. You know, let's see. What energy is coming towards Gemini? What energy is coming towards Gemini? Look at that. The Eight of Cups. Somebody's feeling um, that, you know, they're just not happy. Okay. What else? The Eight of Swords. Hmm. You have two eights here. I'm feeling like, you know, you guys have tried to walk away from this individual and it's like emotionally, you just cannot get this person, you know, out of your heart. Um, I feel that, you know, you've kept yourself away from this person for a while. Okay. But no matter what you do, it's like they're still right there with you emotionally 
have a lot of deep emotions for this person. Um, I'm definitely getting you guys walked away from this person, and, and and you're struggling to stay away. You're struggling to stay away. Okay, you're having a battle. I feel between your heart and your head. Let's see what else. The Ten of Wands is is just too much. I feel that you know you constantly think about your feelings of betrayal, and you just want it to stop. Okay, I think you feel like you're the only one that has been betrayed in this situation, but I'm getting that both of you feel like this. Let's see, you're carrying too much here. Then we have the Eight of Wands. You have three eights. You, you guys have definitely been in a cycle with this individual. Okay, you, you have these feelings, I feel, of being feeling trapped, or somebody here feels trapped. They don't know what to do, they don't know what to think, they don't know what to feel, and it's like, it, it, it's, it's too much. It's too much. All of this thinking, but this is all ego right here with this Ten of Swords, okay? All ego. This person definitely feels betrayed by you guys. And they, um, I'm feeling that this person feels like that they know you feel betrayed by them but they also feel betrayed they also feel like they know the truth about this situation okay and they are not comfortable you know in this state either because they they feel all of this other energy that you guys are have going on they feel it so I'm getting that you guys are sharing this energy. This Four of Wands here, this is a gateway. That's 1111, okay? That's 1111. I'm definitely getting like some, some twin um, energy going on here. But <clears throat> we have Pisces, um, Sagittarius. Let's see. Taurus energies here. Aquarius, Aries, Leo, 